So in this video, I'm gonna share with you three ChatGPT prompts that will help to skyrocket your email open rates. All right, but before we get into it, if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe, make sure to leave a like or leave a comment. It really helps for my videos to get found a lot easier on YouTube and I really appreciate it. All right, so let's get right into it. The first prompt is the spam detector prompt. So if you are doing any kind of email marketing for an e-commerce business, a digital products business, high ticket coaching, you need your emails to land in the inbox. You can't let them land in the spam folder. And I know GetResponse, for example, they have a spam detector. Right before you send your emails out, you can actually, uh, there's a little button that you could click that it will say whether or not it will end up in the spam folder. However, if you don't have GetResponse, response, then this prompt is really going to help you because we don't want to use certain language. We don't want to write in a certain way that will end up in the spam folder because no one is looking in the spam folder for your emails. I promise you only marketers look in their spam folders. Okay. So here is the prompt itself. Act as a thorough spam detector and tell me if this email content would be marked as spam, right? A brief list of any improvements that can be made to reduce the chance of this email landing in the spam folder. Also give me a spam score of one to 10, one being there's no chance of going to the spam folder and 10 being a high probability of landing in the spam folder and then insert your email content. Okay. So I think what's really powerful about this is, uh, number one, it gives you a score one to 10. Is it going to land in the spam folder or not? Number two is it gives you a list of improvements, things that you can work on day after day with your email. So I already wrote out a brief, a promotional email for an all natural weight loss supplement. So we're gonna test it with this, the spam detector. So all you do is uh, copy this. And again, all my uh, prompts are gonna be in the description below for you to just copy paste and start using them uh, right away. Okay, so copy this and then I'm going to insert it there. So it's gonna give me some improvements that we can make on this as well as a spam score, okay? So let's see what it says. This email contains, uh, this email content appears to be well written and, and does not contain any obvious spam triggers. However, it's still important to note that spam filters take various factors into consideration. So there's a chance that an, an email might be marked as spam even if it appears legitimate. Below are suggestions. Okay, personalization. We want to use personalization. We want to use the person's name if we have them opt in get their name. It's going to, uh, it's going to avoid ending up in the spam folder because of that. Number two, avoid excessive use of exclamation points or exclamation marks. Use a reputable sender and email address, uh, provide an unsubscribe option. Great idea. Uh, avoid using all caps and or excessive formatting. This is really important for, uh, for email include a physical address, physical address. Yep. Test the email. Yes. Overall, uh, we got a two out of 10, woohoo. So it's most likely going to end up in the email, in, in the inbox of the person that we wanted to land in. And I did test this before with a super spammy email that I wrote saying pretty much the subject line was, hey, you want $100,000, click the email to, to learn how to uh, to get it today. And then I wrote a little bit about this fake company and I used this prompt and it said that yes, this will go to spam. It was like eight or nine out of 10 on the spam score. So this can be really, really helpful for you if you're brand new to marketing, if you're brand new to email marketing and you're not sure about uh, maybe, maybe you're doing an affiliate product and you're not sure, hey, some of these emails sound kind of sketchy because I know a lot of affiliate products, they give you email swipe files where it says they're just very sensational and they can absolutely land in the spam folder if you're not careful about it, okay? So number two is A-B testing. So we wanna test, we want to be able to test. We want to know what actually works. I could be the best copywriter, the best marketer in the world, writing killer email subject lines, killer email content, but, at the end of the day, I don't know how the market's gonna respond. I don't know, the people have to decide, the people have to choose, am I gonna open this email or open this one? So we have to test. And I know GetResponse allows you to test based on email subject line, um, and it'll, you know, it'll divide it equally saying, you know, let's say a couple thousand go to this email subject line and this email content and a, another couple thousand go to this one. And you see, Hey, what has the best open rate? What has the best click through rate? Uh, how many purchases did I get from this email versus this email and go with the winner. Okay. So we need to be testing. We can't just, 
write one email and think it's going to be the end all be all and just make us a ton of money. We want to be able to test and this will help you. So the prompt is this, rewrite, Rewrite this email content to match the tone and style that resonates with the target audience must be unique from the original content. Okay, so we don't want the same thing just rewritten a little bit differently. Uh, so that is why I'm going to copy this original email that I had created. We'll copy that. And then I'm going to copy this. So we want to rewrite the original one. And then that is how we could test it. Okay, so all we are doing is rewriting this first email, right? We put this first email that we have in one part of for our testing, and then we're going to have it rewritten in a different way, in a more unique way, and test which works. Okay, so the subject line automatically is experience the natural path of, to effortless weight loss versus the first one, discover the power of nature for effortless weight loss. A little bit different. Who knows what is going to have the better open rate, okay? So real quick, I'm just gonna re read you the original email. Are you tired of the endless struggle with diets and exercise routines that promise the world but fail to deliver sustainable weight loss results? We understand your frustration and are excited to improve, introduce our breakthrough solution that harnesses the power of nature to help you achieve your weight loss goals effortlessly. Okay, let's see what the rewritten one was. Are you tired of the endless cycle of diets and exercise routines that overpromise but underdeliver when it comes to sustainable weight loss? We understand your frustration and are thrilled to introduce our groundbreaking solution that taps into the power of nature, making your, your weight loss journey a breeze. Okay, you can see how they are the same, but they are also a little bit different. I would personally, I would say the second one is going to perform better just based on those uh, first two opening lines. I think it, it's gonna speak better to that audience, okay? So you can do this with any of your emails that you have, rewrite it and test it and see what works, okay? Oh, and it also gave us a spam score, two out of 10, perfect. All right, and the third and final one is the email subject lines, okay? So we wanna be able to create catchy, attention-grabbing email subject lines. Now, I wanna start out by saying that there are two different types of emails that we can be sending out. There's informational and there's promotional. Informational can be something like, you know, five reasons why, uh, five reasons why lemon, lemon water helps you boost your metabolism, something like that. And it's informational. It gives you information. Uh, it gives you uh, exactly what the, the subject line says. Promotional, on the other hand, it could be, hey, open this email to buy our all natural weight loss supplement. It's a transactional email. So that's really important to consider. We don't want to be hitting our email list with promotional emails every single day because it's going to burn them out. We need to we need to craft our emails in a way. If you want to make sales, we want to create our emails in a way that is informational, gets people to become informed, become educated on what you are trying to sell, and then give a call to action about learning more, buying more, watching this VSL, right? Whatever it is, versus uh, you know, hitting them with a buy one, get one free, 50% off, 20% off, buy now, buy, buy, buy. That is the way that, that is a way that if you do it a lot or too much, it's going to lead to a lot of complaints and it's going to lead to your email reputation being lower and lower and lower to the point where your emails are not going to get delivered properly. Okay. So this is the email prompt for email subject lines. So write, insert your number, five Catchy email subject lines related to insert your topic, right? Is it about weight loss? Is it about uh, is it about spray tanning? Is it about uh, standing desks? Is it about uh, dog grooming? Whatever it is, make them informational or promotional. Okay, so this is where you need to change uh, change or remove. Do you want an informational one or a promotional one? Email subject lines. So I'm gonna put that copy that. I'm gonna write write five catchy email subject lines related to. Boosting your metabolism. Did I spell that right? Okay. Make them informational or promotional. So I'll do both examples just to show you the difference in how they're gonna be. So the first is gonna be informational. The first is going to probably lead to more open rates and less purchases. And that's okay because we don't wanna burn out our list. We don't wanna hammer them every single time to buy. Okay, uh, so let's see. Ignite your metabolism. Discover the secrets to supercharge your fat burning potential. Rev up your metabolism. Uh, unleash the key to effortless weight loss. Metabolism makeover. Transform your body with these science-backed boosters. Uh, 
Unlock your metabolic powerhouse. Elevate your energy and shed those pounds. Master your metabolism. Proven strategies to turbocharge your weight loss journey. So I would personally, I would remove like all of these parts before the semicolon. I would remove all those and uh, just keep it as the this after for an email subject line. I think these are good enough. They're short, they're punchy, they're to the point. And you can see that th this is not getting people to buy a product. This is just getting to getting people to uh, to become educated within your email, okay? So let's write it, let's write the same thing, but make it promotional. Make them promos pro promotional subject lines, and you'll see the difference, okay? Get your metabolism in high gear, limited time offer inside. Number two, supercharge your metabolism, melt away fat with our exclusive deal. Number three, boost your metabolism for rapid weight loss. Don't miss out on a special discount. Number four, unlock a secret. Unlock the secret to a faster metabolism. Claim your savings today. Number five, accelerate your weight loss journey. Save big on metabolism boosting products. Okay, you can see the promotional ones. It's getting people to take action and buy. However, that is, if you consistently send those over and over and over again, people are going to get upset. They're going to unsubscribe. They're going to uh, complain about you. So I would say maybe for one promotional email, maybe have two or three informational emails. Okay, I think that is a good st starting point, right? Because we don't want to have daily promotional emails. You can, uh, but I don't think you're going to get the best uh, responses from just trying to sell someone every, you know, every single day, as opposed to informing them, educating them, and letting them know about the product and creating that desire for them to actually want to take action, right? Because we need to put that in their head that they need to take action, that they need to buy, and we need to build up that desire through that education. All right, so these are the three chat GPT prompts. Again, I'll leave all these prompts in the description below for you to just start using, start copy pasting and uh, implementing it today. So I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope it was helpful. I hope you liked it. If you did, you're gonna like these two videos also. So make sure to check them out. Make sure to subscribe, leave a like and leave a comment and I will see you in the next one. Take care.